Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Feature Friday. Today we're going to be talking about a winter related subject and that's going to be the different types of linings that are common in winter gloves. So the main ones we're going to focus on are the most common ones in the market that we run into and that's going to be a Sherpa lining, a foam fleece lining, your acrylic pile lining, and the Thinsulate lining developed by 3M. The first one we're gonna talk about is the Sherpa lining. As you can see at a quick glance, very similar to the acrylic pile lining, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but your Sherpa lining is essentially the one that's based and named after the Sherpa people in Nepal. So uh, unlike the original materials, which would have been made out of real sheepskin, this is a polyester or acrylic fiber that mimics that sheepskin warmth, that feel, that function. It does create air pockets, which traps body heat and it prevents the heat from escaping. So generally soft, comfortable, plush, has some moisture wicking capabilities. The downsides can be generally that it's a bit less insulating than some of the other materials that we'll kind of get into. Can feel a little bulky, especially at first. And uh, over time, because it is sort of this fuzzy kind of material, it can actually tap down. You can definitely feel that it has some movement and give to it. So that is one of the things that over time, you may notice that when you first put on the glove versus putting it on for the 10th time, it may not feel quite as snug or as cozy in that sense. The next one we're going to talk about is your foam and fleece lining. So these ones have a very different feel to them and they look quite different. And generally it's a layer of foam insulation that's inside of a fabric lining. As you can see from this one here, it kind of has almost like a stuffed toy feel. So this fleece is typically made of synthetic fibers with kind of a fuzzy texture, just like you can kind of see from the example we have here. And essentially the function is same thing, trapping air for warmth. That's going to be the reoccurring theme you're going to see here. Now it does have some pretty good insulation capabilities. It has a nice soft feel, pretty good breathability overall. Now the one downside that some people kind of do feel about the fleece linings is that it's not quite as effective in the extreme cold versus some of the other cozier, warmer options in the market. But again, usually offers a good amount of warmth and is typically at a pretty good price point on the products that they're associated with, which is always nice. Now acrylic pile lining, as you can see, very similar to the Sherpa lining. These are long fuzzy fibers that mimic the sheepskin or wool, just the same as your Sherpa lining. Lightweight, moisture wicking kind of properties similar to the Sherpa and pretty good insulation. You know, people will generally feel like these kind of offer that luxurious feel, you know, pretty lightweight and good insulation properties, but they do tap down and flatten over time. And that's a common theme and a bit less durable than some of the other materials. And breathability again, is just limited to kind of the, the weaving of the fabric. Now, again, in talking Sherpa versus acrylic pie lining, again, the building constitution of the two is very similar. Some of the key differences that we sometimes kind of do see and have observed from gloves that are advertised as Sherpa versus the acrylic pie line is essentially the way that the fabric kind of gets stitched in and woven. If I start spreading apart the fabric, you may notice that you can start seeing the woven fabric that's holding this liner pretty easily as I just kind of spread this apart. While as if you have something a little thicker built, and you know, and that can kind of correlate to the quality of the fabric of the liner, it takes a lot more of that spreading of the material because it's a lot more dense until you can start seeing any sort of that threading that's underneath. So those are all things that you have to keep in mind as well. So the last one we're gonna talk about is probably one of the bigger ones in the market. It's a really famous line, the Thinsulate line, developed by 3M. So it is a synthetic insulation. It is exceptionally warm, a great warm to thickness ratio as well. As you can see, it kind of has that similar look to your foam fleece lining, um, but generally the technology that's embedded in a thin slate lining is such that it's gonna really trap a lot of that air and really kind of give you that nice, warm, cozy feel. It is quite moisture resistant, moisture wicking, maintains really good insulation through various experiences, and it's versatile for various temperatures and conditions depending on the gram weight that it's rated for. Higher cost compared to alternatives though is probably the main downside that you may have with the Thinsulate line. Again, because it is a trademark technology and it is a very efficient one at that, you definitely may find that the cost associated with gloves that are equipped with the Thinsulate liners is typically going to be on a higher scale naturally. So essentially, just to kind of reiterate what we've covered here is that there's different options and that really depends on personal preference 
uh, what kind of warmth you need, right? Are you equipping yourself for, you know, a glove that's around working in a minus 10, minus 15 conditions? Are you inside, outside, or just fully working outside? Minus 40, minus 50, there's totally different gauges. Are you handling cold products directly, or are you just kind of atmospheric, ambient cold temperatures more so? So because of all that, I mean, it really depends on kind of what you're gonna need for those different functions. Now, one major point that we wanted to kind of mention is that it is important to keep in mind when you are evaluating your different gloves and your different options is that not all of these liners and gloves are necessarily made equal. So by that we mean if you're looking at Thinsulate gloves and you're noticing there could be a pricing discrepancy between two similar looking gloves, it's really important to keep in mind that Thinsulate insulation can come at different weights. So that means it's at 70 grams Thinsulate, 100 gram Thinsulate lining those are gonna affect the price. So, you know, it's the same when it comes to the quality of some of these other liners as well. Those are all things to consider when you're looking and evaluating different price points, different products. So there's so many options, of course, and so if you're looking for a hand in navigating this whole range of products, we're more than happy to give you a hand. At the end of the day, we strongly encourage you to, you know, watch our videos, make some informed decisions, get a feel for what you think you may need depending on the application. If you need assistance with that, we're more than happy to go over all sorts of these topics with our customers. In fact, if you're currently in consideration between leather gloves and synthetic gloves with coating outside of the lining conversation, we actually did a video recently where we covered that exact topic. So if you're kind of in a position where you're evaluating some pros and cons between those two product lines, check out the video, it's gonna be linked there. Now, if you're dead set on leather gloves when evaluating your different winter glove options, and that's just kind of the product type that you prefer outside of the liner and you're looking for a type of leather glove, we've also covered that topic in the video where we discuss all the different kind of features and different comparisons of material types for your leather gloves, and we're gonna be linking that as well. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. If you do like the content, we really appreciate a like and subscribe. It does help the channel and it helps us know that we're on the right track. So thank you so much, guys. Stay warm out there and stay safe and we'll see you next time. Cheers.